solving logarithmic equations so for x log x to be 3 squared subtract a half log x to be 3 is equals to 3 over 2 so let's go straight to the solution so how are we supposed to solve this uh, when you look keenly at this uh, logarithmic equation there is something that you notice uh, log x to the base of 3 something that you notice here uh, log x to the base of 3 is common here and here you notice that it is common so very fast um, there's something that comes into your mind when you look at these you look at it and uh, note that this one is uh, a quadratic equation in form of uh, logarithms and uh, the way you arrive to that conclusion is by keenly looking at these uh, log x uh, to the base of 3 squared then subtract half log x to the base of 3 is equals to so if you let if you let uh, this uh, logarithm of uh, x to the base of 3 be a letter like y you see this better that this one is a quadratic equation so substitute uh, log x to the base of 3 you substitute everywhere you, ha you have that in that equation you substitute with y so in this part you have uh, log x at the base of 3 squared if you replace the log of x to the base of 3 with y you get y squared subtract and uh, for this part uh, half log x to the base of 3 if you replace or substitute uh, log x to the base of 3 with y this one will give a uh, half y and then this one is equals to 3 over over 2 now by writing it this way you'll be able to see clearly that this is actually a quadratic equation which needs to be organized uh, in order to be solved easily so let us organize this uh, by bringing uh, 3 over 2 to the left hand side so we'll do that so we'll get y squared minus uh, half y minus when you bring uh, 3 over 2 to the left hand side you get negative 3 over 2 is equals to 0 then uh, to make this equation quadratic equation easier to solve uh, we can try to eliminate the denominator that is 2 by multiplying each term of this equation by 2 so we multiply y squared times 2 we get 2y squared then we want to have y times 2 we get y and then a negative 3 over 2 uh, if we multiply that with um, 3 over 2 by you get negative 3 is equals to 0 so that is what you get um, you can use uh, any suitable method to solve this kind of a quadratic equation so I want to use factorization and uh, I want to look for two numbers whose uh, product will be uh, 2 times negative 3 so product is uh, 2 times negative 3 negative 6 and the sum will be the coefficient of y here which is uh, negative 1 and you notice that these two numbers are um, negative 3 and uh, 2 if you multiply negative 3 by 2 you get negative 6 if you add them you get negative 1 so let me now uh, write this one so you have uh, 2 y squared uh, plus 2y then a negative 3y negative 3 is equals to 0 so then you can factorize this so let me write this on the other page so 2y squared so 2y squared plus 2y minus 3y plus 2y minus plus 2y minus 3y minus 3 is equals to 0 minus 3 is equals to 0 so factorizing these 
uh, you get this uh, so 2y is common so you have y plus 1 this is y plus 1 not 2 plus 1 then negative 3 is common so you have y plus 1 is equals to 0 so this will give uh, 2y minus 3 y plus 1 is equals to 0 so here you have two solutions it is either 2y minus 3 is equals to 0 and if this is the case then you get y as 3 over 2 and uh, then y plus 1 is equals to 0 this one will give uh, y as negative 1 so now you have two values of y now what you need to do now after obtaining y you just need to remember uh, what you let your y be look at this uh, statement here remember as we began we let y be log x to base 3 so you remember that uh, so remember but y is equals to log x to the base of 3 so this will help you to work out this so the first value of y is uh, 3 over 2 so therefore log x to the base of 3 is equals to the first value of y which is uh, 3 over 2 this one should give you the first solution uh, there are several ways of solving this this one is written in index uh, in logarithmic notation but just a reminder on how to convert from logarithmic notation to index notation i'll use a simple example uh, for instance you have a logarithm of 100 to base 10 that one is 2 so this one is in logarithmic notation if you have to convert this one to index notation this is what you do uh, you just uh, take 10 then squared raised to power 2 is equals to 100 so this is the index notation so you can do the vice versa you can convert uh, from logarithmic to index notation or from index notation to logarithmic notation if you write this um, expression here in uh, index notation this is what you get you get x as um, 3 raised to power 3 over 2 and this will give um, the same as 3 cubed get the square root of 3 cubed which will be 27 and uh, when you simplify this root of 27 you get uh, 3 root 3 so that is the, the first uh, value of x the second value of x is um, logarithm of x to the base of 3 is equals to negative 1 this one so negative 1 so let me write this so this one in index notation you get uh, x will be given by 3 raised to power negative 1 so that is how you get it and this will give uh, x as uh, 3 raised to the power negative 1 is the same as that so those are the two values of x so x is equals to 3 root 3 and also x is equals to 1 over 3 so that is how you're supposed to uh, solve that